a lot of these things is just to, for something to be said. I'm and it's, and it's pissing me off. No, I feel you. The dialogue is definitely, un, I, don't, I wouldn't say unnecessary. It's just like, well, what? what? Like, mm-hmm. <laughs> like, for what? It's more like, why? Yeah, why? And this, and and for like, I would like if you're gonna put so much like unnecessary dialogue, let's do it at the men's uh circle now. You know what I mean? Because yeah. it's still starting to feel real unnecessary. It's like, we're there. <laughs> like, all right, so how do we help you? J- just pray. The- uh, what what are we doing that for? Kevin, for yeah, uh, 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 Emmett was like, "Yeah, man, I think I, I'm in some deep shit right now." Whoa, whoa, whoa what's going on? Nah, here in the circle, we don't give no details. Well, how can I help you? Just have my back. Hella vague. <laughs> hella stupid. Like, I, I don't feel safe. I still don't feel like I got nothing off my chest. That's like going to a therapist. Your therapist tell you, like, you'd be like, man, I'm just I'm going through it right now. I'm having anxiety. <laughs> hey, man, you know, I'm going to pray for you. <laughs> That'll be $300. Right. <laughs> hey, everything going to be all right. Uh, pay the uh, pay my secretary and go back out. You are now tuned into Black on Black Prime. Uh, disclaimer. No matter if we liked your movie, liked your show, or hated the show, or hated your movie, it doesn't matter. We respect you, shout outs to you, and we support you. And we try to get everybody else to support you like we support you. Black on Black Prime, we stand on what we say, though. And just like always, if you didn't ask for our opinion, we didn't actually to listen to it. So, sorry. Click and turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> hey, y'all, we back with another exciting episode of Soul Food. It was a- action-packed. I'll always love my mama. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing here, y'all? Hey, what... <laughs> What are we? Have we been in a minute yet? We've we been in a minute on the video. Not a minute, no. God, uh, tell me when that minute is up, so I can really ask the question I want to ask it. Uh, for YouTube, for YouTube purposes. Uh, the- <laughs> <laughs> tell me, tell, tell me when we there, man. Uh, well, there's always the disclaimer, so it's like we definitely in a minute. As far oh, as- you're right, you're right. What the fuck are we doing here, y'all? <laughs> Like what? Tell me what the fuck is going on. Tell me what the fuck is going on. You know what's funny, and I and I'm gonna give Brian his props for this. Uh, what before when I mentioned it, I said they gonna kill Papa's dad. Brian said we're not gonna care, and I said no, we gonna care because blah blah blah. You know I didn't give a fuck that they choked his ass out at that table. You know, I literally didn't give a fuck. They even played the church music behind it like that was supposed to make me drop it. I didn't give a fuck. I don't know what to say, man. I I sat here and waited. I feel like we waited three episodes for the death of his father. Yes. That's what it was. We kind of knew it was coming. It was a buildup. But then it was just like, like how you said, it was, it was underwhelming. Mm-hmm. Uh, anticlimactic. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's like first you, you keep force feeding it that uh, letting y'all know we're going to kill him. He keep dropping all of these these uh one liners like I don't want to be there for my son. I might not always be around. Act like this. I'm not in your presence. It's like you keep foreshadowing this shit for what? Stop force feeding it. Just make it happen. Right. It's just like they gave him the watch. I was just like, yeah, this is the episode. <laughs> gave him the heirloom. <laughs> <laughs> You're the fifth Jackson to get <laughs> cheap ass watch. I'm like that, don't give me that shit. That was it. <laughs> uh, I just don't know what to do no more. Even that, just minus that, minus the anti climatic death scene. Everything in this shit, it's like, what the fuck is going on, y'all? I don't What's know. What's going on? I'm trying to figure it out because at this episode, I, I expected a lot of stuff to happen for this episode. Mm-hmm. So I'm just like, they've been kind of dragging a little bit. Yeah. And then I'm like, then they're there. It's the story about, you know, Jason move and I Jason, Kevin moving to LA. Okay, cool. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. We know what's going to happen with that. Right. You know, he's probably going to be done with the shy. He's probably mm-hmm. going on to bigger and better things. Now you're bringing in Bakari's sister. That's a rapper. Um, why 
Uh, need- and, and not, not even that. It's like before you see the sister, we see a whole conversation with Gemma and her stepmom about how she needs to sign more artists. Uh-huh. And then voila, this nigga's sister shows up, happens to be a rapper. I was mad as shit when she came, a nigga, at a party. Don't nobody know you in this party, <laughs> nigga. She come in there. You niggas is on my dick. Hey, <laughs> no, not even that. How about not even that? How about there's a song, there's an MP3 song that's already made playing. She knows that there's a, a whole ending part where it's just instrumental. What the fuck this happened at? Kick push ain't that long, man. She, she didn't even go to the DJ like, hey, man, let me get some bar. You just walked up. Nigga, Martin and House Party would have slapped the shit out you. Like, nigga, this is Play's party. He would have put that hat on it. How many, nigga, par- how many parties you been to where they just got a mic hooked up for niggas to rap? <laughs> like this, though. Not even the, the DJ back there. The mic was like. <laughs> that nigga was back there like. <laughs> what the fuck what the fuck is going on you ain't play you just got played out <laughs> <laughs> oh man I was I was rolling when that happened I was just like she walks in there not knowing nobody and she just just starts to perform and you know everybody's just feeling it like you know I would have been like yo first of all like th- Whose party is this? Whose party was that? Whose house was that? I thought it was Lala. Uh, did you see the, the girl dancing in the middle? I thought she was Lala for a minute. I was what the fuck her old ass doing at this party? Um, it, it it looked like there was at a club. It didn't even look like a house party, really. That was a house, bro. Yeah, no, I'm saying the, the way oh. it was set up, it looked like a club. But then you see the different angles, like, oh, this is somebody's house. But they had a stage and everything. Yeah. Um, you know. That just is what it is. I just see another storyline opening there, and it's not like it was a big deal. It was just kind of like, why are we opening more storylines? And what's Bakari's sister got to do with any of this? And why? Is it what? What does no, he? She just, what does he need her for? She just represents the the female rappers in Chicago. Female lesbian rappers in Chicago. Oh yeah, they made sure she was, you know, yeah, she had a big gay uh, sweater on. It said "gay" on it, not "gap." I was like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> At first, I thought it was "gap." Oh, she got a gap sweater on that is that "gay" on it. I was like, oh, that, that, they got a brand. That's what's up. Um, I was also uh, thinking. About- <laughs> I'm sorry, man. I'll be trying to like keep my mouth shut because I know certain things is just like, you know, they're heavy or whatever. I was just, I just noticed it and I was just like, oh, snap. I thought it was, you know, but anyway. Um, you got um, Victor and his, his, his mess or whatever. Like they, they, they know that he's rolling with Duda and that he did something um, to the guy in the trunk. Um, what's the guy's name in the trunk again? The one they killed the grandfather. It don't matter. It don't matter. All right. Um, what's the call comes in? He finally tells Iman what happened. Mm. I mean, you knew where that was going at that point. He went to tell his mom, and his mom was like, "Okay, handle that." And that that was also like just kind of like it was just lame, just the way things. Just, it was the setup <laughs> of it. You know what I mean? It's just like I'm gonna go tell my mom, and you know, her mom was like, "Well, go handle it," and he's just. All right. He said, "I don't." He said, "He said I, I don't do with gangsters like this, but I do." Well, then you handle it, mom. What the <laughs> fuck are you like? What are you, What are you talking about? What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, I was just trying to figure. I was like, "All right." I like what was that Emmett rolling up to Duda with a gun and Duda not like killing him on spot? Don't make sense because like Duda's cold blooded. He killed somebody for chewing. He killed somebody I, for chewing, man. He, he <laughs> killed somebody for chewing too loud. Uh, he also, <laughs> this nigga has been cutthroat since day one. Emmett pulls a gun on him, puts it in his face. He slaps him down and then says, yeah, you can buy yourself out the deal. Mm-hmm. Well, when, <laughs> my nigga, uh, <laughs> my nigga Jason Mitchell didn't want him investing in this truck and he basically threatened his life. Yeah. Killed him. Yeah, yeah, kill him. <laughs> Murdered that man <laughs> for nothing. I just don't know what we're doing. I don't know what we're doing anymore. Bak- Bakari, uh, Bakari's being protected by the regular niggas now. <laughs> I just don't know what's going on. I'm trying to figure out who's gonna who's about to die next because I'm like, all right, like y'all playing with Duda, like he ain't 
you know, he got the whole thing. First of all, you think about this, right? We only know three people working for Duda, really. Mm -hmm. You know, Bakari, we got Nook, mm -hmm. we got the new guy, and then there's Duda. Nobody else be really rolling with Duda like that. Well, it's it's like uh it's like um it's like what's his name said in his little speech when he was like, the the the, the shy love me, they just work for you. So everybody kind of owes Duda is the thing. I, I get that, right? I get yeah. that. But Duda, why is Duda so scary and he ain't really got no team? But he, he do though. So it's like it's like we who you just named is who we know. But if you notice, there's always some other niggas in the scene with them. Like, like when they go to the chop shop and be going down, there'd be hella other niggas around. Like, it's like, like it's like a workers. like workers, like workers and like like gang members. Remember the, uh, this whole shit? It's supposed to be the sixty third mob. That's where it started in the shy. They're supposed yeah. to be sixty third. So it's like he's the leader of a gang. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's that. So he does have a hold, but in here he doesn't have a hold. He he. They pretty much everybody hold him in here. Yeah, um, I was just thinking about. I was just like, man, why don't they just kill this nigga, get it over with, man? Everybody, because they want it, they want, they want it, they want it built up like they build up Papa's dad dying. They want it, they want it to be a shocker. And there was nothing shocking about that. Um, I think, I think it's gonna come down to Iman. I think it's gonna come down to Nut killing him because when Iman was like, I, 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 when she was like, you need to get somebody else. You ain't gonna be able to handle this. Mm -hmm. He was like, I, I think I could find somebody. I think it's gonna be uh, uh Nut. Hmm. Yeah, I don't. I don't even know. It's hard to even say now because everybody's against him, so it could be anybody. I, I wouldn't be surprised if Papa killed him. Hey, that would be dope. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised because Papa, like, who knows where he's going? His dad just died. The last conversation he had with his father was actually kind of bad. Dad, you know, mm -hmm. didn't kick him out, but he walked out and said, "Don't come back here no more." So mm -hmm. Papa, Papa is probably about to go rogue uh, yeah just like that's what you said actually you said that a few episodes ago like papa might you know step into a different type of life you know he got that dark side he got a son to raise now though you know what i mean <laughs> yeah little kid hey come over here and watch cartoons with us you know what i mean this is my son after three days <laughs> i know it pissed me off that papa been on the show this long and still can't act because when he uh when he showed up and he was like, I was with my girlfriend. He was like, I never got to meet that girlfriend. He's like, don't worry about it. You'll meet her and her son one day. Oh, shoot. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, damn, I, I forgot. I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> he also didn't need to come home. This is why this is why I think this shit was written um by AI. Cause then he walked in the house and said, sorry, I'm late. And he put his backpack down and he left, basically. Mm -hmm. You could have took that backpack to that man's meeting. What did you what did you come home for? Not a damn thing. That they do a lot of shit. They do a lot of shit just to say shit. A lot of these things is just to, for something to be said. I'm and it's it is pissing me off. No, I feel you. The dialogue is definitely un I don't I wouldn't say unnecessary. It's just like, well, what what? Like, mm -hmm. like for what? It's more like why? Yeah, why? And this and and for like, I would like if you're gonna put so much like unnecessary dialogue, let's do it at the men's uh circle now. You know what I mean? Because yeah. it's starting to feel real unnecessary. It's like, we're there. <laughs> like, all right, so how do we help you? J just pray. The what what are we doing that for? Here for Kevin, man? uh, uh, uh Emmett was like, yeah, man, I think I, I'm in some deep shit right now. Whoa, whoa what's going on? No, nah, here in the circle, we don't give no details. Well, how can I help you? Just have my back. Hella vague, <laughs> hella stupid. Like, I, I don't feel safe. I still don't feel like I got nothing off my chest. That's like going to a therapist. Your therapist tell you, like, you'd be like, man, I'm just going through it right now. I'm having anxiety. <laughs> hey, man. You know, I'm going to pray for you. <laughs> That'll be $300. Right. Hey, everything going to be all right. Uh, pay the uh, pay my secretary. And pay out. Hey, you ever been going through something like a lot, like hard, something hard? You just be like, you go to somebody that you feel like is going to, you know, kind of talk you through it. And they'd be just like, hey, just think other people going through way worse. And I'll be ready to flip over. <laughs> I'll be ready to flip over a table. I'm like, I, I, I accept <laughs> I accept that more. I accept that more 
than pouring out my heart and somebody be like, yeah, man, I'm going through it too. Yesterday I had to pay for gas. I didn't even have the $20. Right. And he be like, boy, <laughs> you think I told you all that? For you to match my story, nigga? <laughs> Oh man, ah, oh, I ain't got no money right now. Shit, yeah, man, I ain't got no money either. <laughs> well, I need a job, hella bad. Like, yeah, a- man, I remember last week when I needed a job. <laughs> That's why you keep your stuff to yourself, man. Anything personal? That was the only advice that I'd be giving, like, like younger people. I'm just like, look, man, you talk to your parents if you know what I mean, depending on who your parents are. But like, try to keep the personal things locked mm-hmm. up pretty tight, cause. Ain't nobody. Everybody got their own life, man. Can nobody help you, really? You know. I mean, there there are there are people that there are people. I, I would tell young people like if you if you express yourself to somebody and they do one of the examples we just did, just don't go back to them no more. Because there are people that will give you good feedback. You just don't go back to that same nigga and expect something different. No, that's real. That's <laughs> that's, the, that's the only thing. Some people, some people like people say I'm a good listener, and I and I pride myself on that because I take the time to be like. Let me listen to what you're talking about and not while you're talking to me, thinking of a story in my head to be like to not not uh, you can think of a story to give some advice in it. But don't think of a story just to be like, let me one up your story. Right. Like, damn, I got shot. Yeah, nigga, yesterday I almost drowned. Like, what does that have to do with <laughs> what does that have to do with you almost getting shot? <laughs> Niggas get shot every day, B, you know, um, but back to back to this shit. Um, it just um. Uh, like, dude, I's not. I'm not scared of dude. I no more. Uh-huh. He beat up Akari, and that was it. Uh, he he, uh, what you call it? Put a whole gun to his head, and he told him just give me my money back, and that's it. It's like he's in church. Everybody stands up for Bakari. He looked at the pastor and smiled, and that's it. Like, there's no consequences to anything no more. Why are we scared of this nigga? Why do that to graduation? <laughs> Clapping and smiling. That's the only place you can catch a car. You just catch it, <laughs> laughing and smiling. I was just like, oh man, I'm proud of y'all. <laughs> Kill y'all motherfuckers one day. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Uh, I, was I thought Bacardi was in school. I don't know, man. I don't know what Bacardi's doing. Um, I know that uh, I could, <clears throat> as far as like the death meter goes of who's going to get it next, I, this is Bacardi to me. Bacardi's looking mm. like a dead man walking. Um, and I think it's either it's either him or his sister that just came out here randomly. I I think um, I'm starting to believe I'm starting to believe nobody else is going to die, but um, I'm starting to believe that new young dude with uh, with Duda is undercover for something or somebody. Hmm. The way he's moving is just weird as shit to me. Like every time they show him in the scene, it's just something weird about that dude. Yeah, he seems like he's doing. A, he's doing a lot to impress Duda. That's what I see. I feel like he's just trying to be the main dude. You know what I mean? Like he's almost trying- like ice. Almost like ice seeing um New Jack City. Right, 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 right. Definitely trying to uh, outdo like he. Uh, what's his name? Is G Money now? Nut. Yeah. Pretty. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Yeah. But also, also too. Once again, I got to stop thinking so deeply because they're not thinking that intelligent. Mm. The whole scene with uh with Emmett and Keisha going back and forth it was literally the dumbest shit. With Emmett's plan after that was the dumbest shit, and his dad just letting him go with the fucking gun is the dumbest shit. Like, I I just don't understand what the fuck they're doing. Your dad did this whole speech. Your dad took this gun. Your dad threatened a, a mob boss, and then you come and say, "I need the gun." And he give it to you and say, be careful. What the fuck is going on? Just like you said, nothing, nothing thought out. It's just <clears throat> we're trying to get to a point. And whatever we got to do in the middle of that is just what we got to do. Unnecessary storylines. Because when, when I think about all the storylines going on right now, I just don't care enough. You know, I don't care about <laughs> Jim. I don't, I don't care about Jim being a manager uh, of another artist. I don't care that Bakari's sister is in town. I don't care that Kevin is moving to LA. I don't care about the uh, the, the the troubles that uh, Kevin's mom and Dre are going through. Mm. Um, she's gonna Dre's gonna end up fucking her ex. I, her ex. She's I mean, not, let's be she, she's not only because of the speech she gave. She's gonna do it. Um, no, no, I'm <laughs> saying it's, it's that, that 
<laughs> the speech was real direct. What she said, uh, what she was talking to the ex, because the ex was like, and this this shit was dumb too. She was like, "Yeah, I've been texting you. You ain't been responding. I'm trying to, uh, I'm trying to be cool a little bit because my wife's uncomfortable with this." And she's like, "What do you mean? Like, uh, my wife don't understand. Lesbians can break up, and then lesbians can be friends again." It was like message, like what? Like wh why would you say it that direct? Like that was real specific. What she said. It's like it's it, it's almost like it's almost like Lena Waithe was writing that scene for whoever she's with now to let her know like I'm cool with her because <laughs> <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Subliminal messages was yeah. like in the episode. That was that was real specific. Yeah. But then but then after she says that, the girl says, Oh, okay, so yeah, so she's still learning, so I'm gonna fall back. And then Dre's like, No, I'm not saying that. <laughs> what do you want then? Like he <laughs> the fuck are you talking about Dude, i don't know I, I don't know what none of these like these stories have to do with anything have to do with the shy and um also before you move on um dre's like best friends with, with the two girls right the two uh uh emmy mama and the girl who hired her ex but her ex didn't know that dre talked to her but dre proposed to that girl there's not a how do you have an ex-fiance that your best friends don't know about that's true. I think they all just probably became cool recently. I don't think that they're all best friends. I think they just started knowing each other. No, nah, they said friends from high school. If no, you think back did. to the older episodes, yeah, Dre was like they partnered from high school. That's why that was the whole thing when Emma's mama had cancer. It's like they they were so tight and they were so tight because it was all best friends. Yeah. Hey man, just like I remember when I was last episode, they changed storylines for convenience. You know and and say fuck what you thought. Yeah. <laughs> it's like no we give a damn. There was no Jason. There was no, no. Uh, there was no Ronnie. <laughs> there was no Cootie. That never happened. <laughs> Remember the in the taco truck? What was it called in the taco? In the taco. Everything barbecue chicken in the taco. Everything was in the taco. Never happened. Nope. <laughs> they ain't even on the hey, if you think about it, they're not even on the same block. What happened to the store? Remember the little store they used to pass all the time? Like, where's those? Like, I feel like they they're in the same neighborhood. What happened? The one where uh Emmy was selling the shoes? Yeah. Yeah, that they moved. They move <laughs> <laughs> like you know the location don't even seem the same. We're common that nothing is. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot. I forgot. Common was a whole Muslim in this it motherfucker. Was. What happened to him? What happened to him in the community center, man? <laughs> oh <laughs> shit! <laughs> He's just gone. They changed the whole storyline. It's not even the same show no more. It's a spinoff. Uh, Lala was selling weed and cooking, and then she's gone. Like, oh. th they literally just writing niggas off in here. They just don't expect you to pay attention, man. Uh, was, Damn. It me? was it me, or did it look like... Uh, I mean, I don't know if Papa's dad has always been like this, but he was very much so in his Tyler Perry bag this episode. Like, he was just like, <clears throat> all right, you know what I'm going to... Don't do this. That's what, what? I'm saying. It's Pray that's for what me. I that hurt for my son. Who you? <laughs> <laughs> Same thing with what uh, Kev. Kev was up there preaching at the damn valedictorian speech. He was just like, and don't remember and forget hey, about this. Hey, I literally know for his scene. I thought about that. I was like, why is he talking like that? Remember this. You always go for your dreams. I was like, why all of a sudden is he? My Angelou, like, why is it all of a sudden his his voice is like the he was never talking like that? Yeah, man, I don't. Yeah, it was in a time uh, back this episode that the gospel music when everybody's dying. I'm just like, they should have threw the voice, <laughs> voice in the hood. <laughs> <laughs> that was perfect. Oh, and you knew it, and you know it's uh okay. So maybe he's not undercover because that little nigga was uh the dude trying to impress Duda. That little nigga jumped all on his back while he was choking him. Yeah, that wasn't. Papa enough. Dad could have beat the shit out of him. Like that's in real life that wasn't gonna happen. Papa Dad got Papa Dad weighed about three hundred. Dude was like, like one seventy five maybe. And fell pa Papa Dad would have beat his ass all through that kitchen. Yeah, man, that was a horrible death scene. Not enough for me. Um, I would have rather them shoot him in the head. Um, yeah, that's what I thought was going to happen. 
and not just at the house chilling. You know what I mean? Like, you know, do make, make it make it better. Make it just a scene that's I don't know. I just wasn't enjoying. It. I don't have anything good to say about this episode. I'm gonna keep it real. I was thinking about it. I was like, man, are we dogging this show too much? Is it that mm. bad? I don't really have nothing good to say about this episode at all. This this it's become because it's becoming just. Uh, I remember I was saying when it seemed like it was transferred when we started uh, doing the season, and I said it was transitioning to soul food, but it's not even that no more. Yeah. Now it's just now it's just we throw out ideas and run with them. Yeah. Like Emmy made that that whole scene with Emmy and Keisha, they're back and forth. It just there's no logic to what they're saying. He's like, I'm I'm taking every taking care of everything because you ain't working. She only been out of work for two days. Mm -hmm. Like uh um, and then her just going off on him like like you didn't know he was gonna owe this nigga something. And then uh, I hated uh, Kevin's mama. Like, you can't be happy for shit they doing. Oh, my God. So, you just can't be satisfied with shit. This nigga saying they're paying for everything. I'm living my dream. Oh, I need some time to process. Shut the fuck up. If I was Dre, don't tell me not to step in. You being a bitch right now. Go to the room. Go in the room. That was the first time that nigga was like, this is my mom, too. I was like, oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> Cause it was dumb, man. That that her reaction literally didn't make. I can understand you being sad. Oh, my son's moving away. But it's like, what? I'm supposed to stop my dreams because you want me close to you? What the fuck are you talking about? You? If my daughter came here, like, oh, I'm living my dream. They paying for me to come here. That's my daughter too. I'm like, fuck. Like that's your dream. I'll be sad that you're moving, but fuck. Exactly. Like, what can I say? You. This is your dream. You living. Are you gonna stay here and work for Duda? That's yeah. Point? You know that's what it's coming to. You gonna work for Duda then? That's it. Definitely. Dude, dude is starting a video game company. He want me to work under him now. But I'll be in Chicago, though. I just got to carry this gun and, and hold this money for him. That's crazy, man. I'll be like, at least you home, baby. <laughs> 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 this shit is dumb, man. It's And I don't, I want it to be, I, I want it, I want to like this season, man. I want to like the show. You know? I, I've been liking the show, but I want to like this season. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I mean, that's, that's what I'm saying. It's like, I did like the show at, at one point. I, there were some seasons that I was just like, whoa. Then there were some seasons I was like, okay, it was it was cool. But, you mm -hmm. know, <clears throat> I guess they can't all be home runs um, episodes. But this one was just very, it seemed like somebody else wrote this one. It was just like very AI. Dr a dramatic AI. Like, it was like, make this scene extra <laughs> dramatic. <laughs> You know, put a little sprinkle, a little bit of Tyler Perry in there, a little Tubi magic, and we got an episode. <laughs> hey, the uh, Papa Dad basically told Victor they need to kill Duda. Okay, yeah. in, in the yeah. church, he did. He did. He was just like, while he's alive, it's gonna be <laughs> problems. I was like, we know Duda's not dying until the last episode. So we got like what eight episodes left or some shit like that. I think he's going to jail. I, I, either or, I just know that something's going to happen to do this, uh, but it's not going to be soon. So that means we have a lot of filler left over, a lot of storylines that we're not too interested in. Um, I'm trying to figure out what I'm curious, what I'm, what I'm curious about with this, uh, with the season coming up. Um, like, what do I want to see? I'm hmm. trying to think I want to see, I want to see just how powerful they're going to make Iman's mom all of a sudden. Yeah, because you start not even be a factor as a new character. I feel like your dialogue should be more than just like, "Well, you know what I told you to do." Do do. But she's but they they're trying to make her mysterious. Like, um, they they're trying to make her mysterious, and uh, we're supposed to be blindsided by how gangster she's gonna be. Like, just just listen to the shit she be saying. Mm -hmm. It's like she she's uh she she's like a calm, but then the little shit she be dropping, like when she was like, uh, "I've dealt with niggas like this before," and it's just like what. Like what you you running shit now? Like it, it's like it's it's like they want a blind spot. When Duda's gone, she's gonna take over. I mean, I guess um, that's that's if if. But then again, we might be just thinking, like you said, Papa might jump up and be like, "I'm running shit now. Me and my son and my girl. Now we run the blocks. You guys work for me now, Bakari." You work for me now, but Cargan be like, no, I'm about to be a pastor. I'm following Pop's footsteps. Yeah. Because you know Bakar gonna be the first one to find out that dude was the one who killed his daddy. And he's gonna follow in the footsteps. Bakar gonna be the pastor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I just 
I this um once again, I, I hate to overthink it. I'm this is wishful thinking now. Uh, this is wishful thinking shit I'm saying right now. Mm-hmm. Is Kevin leaving now or is he gonna wait to the end of the season? I mean, I think it's now. I mean, they graduated, which is like, man, the, to graduate from high school is big, right? Now that made mm-hmm. that shit happen like it was nothing. It was just like they just graduated. I was like, oh damn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he just yep. carried what well, a graduation in the basement. Yep. Uh, <laughs> They out of there. <laughs> that, wasn't even, the that wasn't even the same high school. Like, what the hell is that? <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, they graduate. I think he's, he's probably just going to dip. You know what I mean? Kevin going to be out. Uh, they probably going to have a going away, probably gonna have a going away party for Kevin. There's another fucking party. This is like all party. All episode, every episode is a party. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and this like, time it's going to be Cupid Shovel. Last time it was... Uh... Uh, get in now. So this time it's gonna be Cuba show. Uh, do you, and they're you, gonna dedicate it to DJ Casper. Oh man, telling you, was he from Chicago? Nah. Okay. I think he's from uh, uh Louisiana. Don't get me lying. No, I don't know. Oh. I think he's from Louisiana though. But uh, slide, bro. I, th- <laughs> I think uh, I think Jim is gonna end up moving to LA. She's not gonna like mm-hmm. that. Uh. Uh, uh, not Gemma. Uh, what the fuck? Maisha's gonna end up moving to LA. She's not gonna like that Gemma's fucking with a new artist. Fly me out first class. Sit the fuck down. <laughs> the spirit ticket and calm down. You ain't real. You ain't famous. You said you're gonna be a local rapper. She's like, what you trying to say? Just because you got to move out of your city to follow your dreams. I hate people that like run with the city angle too hard. Like, this is my city. It was just like, y'all don't run nothing. Nobody nothing. Y'all out here, y'all are ants. Nothing. And, and if I can go over here to blow up, if I'm literally going here to do better, how the fuck are you going to talk down on me for leaving? <laughs> you going to leave the city. <laughs> Forget that you was homeless in the city damn near. Like, you, you was in the projects, low key, long time ago. Put a little makeup on, and now you want a first class. You're all right. Now you the shit now. You got <laughs> like, it. Got... She was getting mad. She was watching that girl spit them bars. Like, my shit trash. And nigga Kevin was like, okay, all right. She hard. She all right. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> I don't know where we're going, man. Jake going off on Victor. I don't know what the fuck we're doing now, man. I don't. Yeah, Jake's, char- Jake's character is also becoming a little more relevant. And he just start coming. He just comes through the door. Yeah. He just, just walks through and be just like, what's going on here? Make it your ass in your room. Don't they they treat like <laughs> they treating him like Miles and Moesha. Remember that said that the episode mm-hmm. when he was smoking weed? Yeah. He was like, Nobody, nobody talks to me anymore. Yeah. There's a bunch of arguing around here. Everybody acts like I don't exist. That's him right now. The nigga gonna go upstairs like Judy. Never come back. <laughs> we, ain't go up even, we ain't gonna even notice. That nigga go be- up there and sew them clothes, nigga. <laughs> we ain't gonna see him in the next episode. We'll be like, what happened to my nigga? Is it so? Is this the last season? I know. I don't think so. Nobody said anything, right? So it's not. So every, every so they they're they're transitioning characters out and bringing new characters in. So Bakari's gonna Bakari's gonna become a pastor. Um, Bakari's dead. <laughs> I don't think Bakari's. Not, I don't think we get no more deaths this season. Cars are dead, man. Walking, man. <laughs> If if we get any deaths this season, it's going to be that dude that works for Duda. That's it. Like it ain't gonna be no more main character deaths at all. Okay, so the only reason why I say that, right, is because in the trailer they got the the casket. The oh, I didn't thing. watch the next trailer. No, not for the next episode. I'm talking about like for the full season. They had a trailer, and they're like mm-hmm. people are carrying a casket. I don't think that's Papa's dad. Um. It's Papa's because, dad. Because the people that was carrying him, well, I mean, he didn't really show them, but you can kind of see it was Jake. It wasn't Papa. Wouldn't Papa be holding his daddy's casket? Uh, unless he's breaking down and he can't. Yeah. I don't know. So, I mean, if that's if that's his dad's funeral, then, yeah, that's probably the last death that, this is, that, that, that people care about. This is it. And then, so, so we're about to, the rest of the season, we're about to get everybody going against Duda. Everybody's against it because everybody knows who did it. If you notice, uh, the last three episodes, the pastor kind of had an uh, interaction with everybody. Mm-hmm. Everybody. He, he's had an interaction with everybody. So it's like they tried to build him up to be important to the circle. So yeah. I, I believe his death, everybody's going to turn on Duda. The whole city of Chicago go band together to turn on Duda. Once Duda's out the picture, then 
Iman's mom comes into the picture. And that's how the season ends. The FBI are are terrible. How do they know everything? How do they he said, I know you're not a killer, but I do think you had something to do with getting rid of his body. How do you just know that? The nigga looked guilty when he said that shit. And it was just like. <laughs> and also, if y'all got pictures of him getting out of the car at uh at dude's house, how y'all don't got pictures of them carrying that body to the trunk? Tell me, man. You know, <laughs> <laughs> that's, what, that's what I was thinking. I was just like, so y'all took the picture of me right after the body, though. And y'all didn't follow the car. <laughs> like it, it's like you got suspicions for the wrong shit. It it just don't make sense. Yeah, I don't know, man. Uh, it, it's 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 hard. It's hard to tell right now. We just kind of following along. You know, hopefully something else pops up that we're surprised at. I don't know. I just I I literally don't know. I I do feel the over the topness that was coming from Papa's dad because it, it was it was heavy on the. Tyler Perry shit. Mm -hmm. You don't, you're too young to raise a son. I'm, I raised you different than that. Don't be like me. I'm not always going to be around for you. Yeah. It was very, um, to be like, um, yeah. What do you think about the relationship with Vic Mensa's character and Bakari, you know, him picking them up in the car and they rolling and talking around for him and talking. The acting didn't match the scene. So, so Vic Mensa, right? He pull up, he, he do the Prince face thing. Like, what you doing over here, man? What happened to you? That nigga's Car eyes like, hella. His man. eyes be just like. <laughs> Get in the car and don't be slamming my door either. <laughs> I was like, yo, stop looking at that nigga like that, man. But no, Bakari, <laughs> Bakari was mad as fuck. <laughs> he was like, <sighs> he was like, Get in the car. <sighs> I'm like, Vic Miss ain't do shit to you. Like, he... like, you don't have to get in the car if you don't want to. <laughs> he was like, you say, you're like, how the fuck you going to save my life? What the fuck you want me to do? What you expect? Like, God damn. Calm your ass down, Bakari. Um, uh, uh, their relationship is 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 generic. Like, he went from, from damn near threatening him, from giving him that evil stare from jail to being like, I want to save your life. Yeah. I, I can understand him wanting to look out for his sister. It's just that the transitions didn't happen well. It didn't. Um, I, th I think ap after time, like when an episode goes off, they expect you to think that other days went by and other shit happened. Hmm. It was the name. It was, it was just one day, and then the next episode is Tuesday. It's just like this was Monday, September third, and now we <laughs> have October. It's gonna be Halloween. Because uh, his his girlfriend was on punishment, but she showed was at that graduation party. What's she on punishment for anyway? Like that ain't had nothing to do with her. She was in the stolen car. Turned I out. Know. She didn't know, but she knew she was a uh, high speeding uh, in the car with with this nigga. You want me? What you want me to do? I'm in the car with a nigga high speed. You want me to jump out? Hey, right. if I send my daughter with somebody and you get pulled over because this nigga was doing too much while he was driving, why you ain't, why you ain't call me? That I come get you. If he's doing too much, you tell me. Nah, nah, you went to jail with him. Yeah, I mean, I get it. I understand. But they they also knew he worked for Duda. So at that, y'all let her go. <laughs> y'all let her hang out with a nigga that worked for Duda. I was just like, you know, what are you supposed to do? And they, come, <laughs> they come to your door the next day. It's like, sorry, Miss Daniels. <laughs> <laughs> I look, I love you and Kim. <laughs> <laughs> it's like nigga, get the fuck away from my door bro like you got my daughter arrested the new clothes the video game uh but but uh but um but uh dude i beaten bakari for getting his car stolen even uh taken even though it was a stolen car literally makes no sense what you want me to do bro like we live in that like you got me a stolen car i was i'm but guns wasn't in there, huh? Because he had already gave the guns up. No, the guns was gone. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I yeah, I don't know, man. This is crazy. I don't want to keep on talking about it because I feel like there's nothing positive to talk about. And I don't want to just like downplay it so hard. It's not horrible, it's just not what I expected the shot to go to at this point. Right. It's it, it's it's falling off a cliff right now. 
yeah. and I don't know what to do. Like, cause we already here, we already locked in, and I do think they're going to take a break. I don't think it's coming back next week. Do you, do you got the schedule? Uh, they're not showing it. Let me see. Do 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 do. No, they're not showing it. This is the tenth. Uh, well, this, it's supposed to drop on the tenth. We saw the the Paramount Plus edition that drops um early. So mm-hmm. Supposed to come out on the tenth. We probably won't get another one until like maybe another week or so afterwards because it's a big thing like somebody dies you know we need a break mm-hmm. so but i don't even think i think they'll do longer than a week they're gonna blame it on the strike and come back with all <laughs> new, come back with all new characters <laughs> but yeah man i don't know what i don't know what we're doing now i uh I I'd, I'd have been it was a little weird for Bakari's sister to just openly flirt with Gemma like that. Like you just gonna get at her, even though Jake said this is my girl. Yeah. I don't think that's going nowhere because Gemma's not gay. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. You never know. hmm You you, never you really know. never know in here. Uh but I, I wanna say this is where we at, but I don't even know where the fuck we at. <laughs> Well, so so now Emmy got to leave the house. He got to uh, he got to give the cars back. The Maxim are probably gone. Uh, um, I just don't know what we're doing now. We just watching. <laughs> That's it. You can't. Yeah, I mean, I just I just don't know. I don't know what we're doing, man. Like I I don't I don't know where we're going. Okay, next next episode is the funeral. Does does do that show up for the funeral? You think he's that cold? Mm, yeah, because it's the pastor. He gonna pull up. He everywhere else. So I can see him being there. Um, I can see. I can see everybody being there, even for you know what I mean, like all the people that he just prayed for. You know, like Victor mm-hmm. gonna be there. You know, they gonna be looking at him. They gonna probably be looking at dude. The dude's gonna be sitting there with that smile on his face, like. <laughs> 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 Damn, smirk on his face. <laughs> okay, um, <clears throat> it, this might be dumb, but I'll put it past them. Do you think they're gonna call it a murder? Yeah, like, wow, well, what else would have been like? They didn't put nothing in this cup or nothing. They strangled him. I'm saying that's so. What you're that's logical. What you're saying. <laughs> you got a heart attack this is what I'm saying I'm wondering if they're going to pull some stupid shit like Bakari's going to get the message first and he got to come to Papa Papa going to be uh, watching the sun and Bakari going to knock on the door like Papa man Pops is dead like what he had a heart attack last night mm-hmm. it's like I could see them doing something like that because there's no murder weapon he didn't she didn't get shot yeah like are you getting strangled like i mean this what is it called uh it's asphyxiation something like that like when you get strangled mm-hmm. like they can tell that in the autopsy if you got yeah you think it right. you think it too deep yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah man ain't no telling bro it really ain't i'm I, I i would have to sit on it for a second to like really think about like okay like what's gonna happen but just like you said i mean there's no real predictions because they're just kind of like winging it episode by episode so anything could happen like yeah i don't know i don't know hey man y'all tell us what y'all think in the comments <laughs> <laughs> i want somebody in the comment to just be like this is what i think they're gonna do because i i normally we normally we do that normally we'd be like i think the only prediction i got is, is the dude i doesn't die he goes to jail that's like my only prediction other than that i can't tell you what the fuck's gonna happen next yeah, same. Because the world, typically the world should be crumbling now. Papa's dad is dead. The world should be crumbling for everybody. Mm-hmm. But it could it could just as well be like Papa's dad's dead. We had the funeral. Now we moved back on with the shy life. Now we're just seeing how Papa's reacted to it. Nobody has to answer for this. It, it, could, it could very well be that. It yeah. could be, if they were smart about it, it could be Nuck taking it hard. Like, I know who killed him. Because Nuck is a changed man after what happened with Keisha. Mm-hmm. So he could be on some, man, I know who did this. Uh, on some, I don't know who he would let know because he ain't close to nobody. Or he could be like, 
Let me tell you this, Kevin, because you know I, I owe you one for what happened with your sister, and I pulled that gun on you back when you was thirteen. So let me just let you know, I know who killed the pastor. Kevin be like, "What? Oh, I can't leave the shot now. <laughs> I got to stay with Papa. They need me." I did think about that though, just now when you said it. Uh, I think mean, like, does Kevin still leave? His best friend's dad just got murdered. Uh, Papa, pack up your son and your and your girl. Y'all come to LA with me. You know, they gave me a spot big enough <laughs> to take you, Maisha. Uh, you want to get your clothesline off, right? Get your, get your, everybody come. I'm going to lose a friend. Kevin's going to be just like, damn, that's crazy. <laughs> I got to go, though, you know. <laughs> hey, I like how Kevin told Maisha, like, you want to do music, right? You know, you got a better chance out there. Nigga, this is not the 90s. Don't nobody, <laughs> especially with music, don't nobody have to run nowhere to blow up in music no more. Didn't you hate that girl just trying to come up and you see like a movie? It was just like, oh, yeah, or or a documentary or something. They were just like, yeah, you know, I was doing music in a, a Buck Holster, ten, Tennessee, something crazy, some crazy <laughs> town. They were just like, went to L.A. My <laughs> dreams came true. <laughs> what? Where you go? Got an agent, you know, dreams came true after that. Before I knew it, I was doing shows. <laughs> I was getting into clubs. <laughs> never, never, uh, never just being in California. When you hear stories about California, you be like, where? Like, <laughs> what you California big as hell. People like, were like, I want to go to, want to go to the Bay Area. You see the Golden Gate Bridge. Like, For what? <laughs> For what? Oh, you get there and realize the suicide bridge. You'd be like, oh. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> that was the first thing they tell you. You were just like, this many people jumped off the bridge. I'm like, yeah, I don't want to take a picture here no more, man. Right. Don't want to. It's a grave site. He was wilding. Uh, uh, but yeah, I mean, like I said, I don't, I don't know where we, I don't have no predictions on nothing. I don't know where the fuck we going now. I just don't know. I just don't know. Yeah, y'all, you know, y'all tell us. Help us. We're not doing power force, so this is pretty much all we got into. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I was looking at Power Four. I, I didn't watch it yet, but I was, I was looking at like the trailer or whatever, and I was just like, "Yeah, I don't think we can do this." I couldn't do the first season, so I, I'm damn sure can't do the second season. I watched one and a half episodes of the first season. Oh no, I maybe watched two, and I was just like, "I can't do this shit." Yeah. So uh, I mean, uh, like, share, subscribe, talk to us. We talk back. Uh, please uh, <laughs> say something about this show. I mean, we. <laughs> We trying, y'all. We <laughs> we trying. Put me on the writing team. I I I'll, I'll change the game for y'all, man. I, I I would flip this whole thing. I would I would write some shit that makes sense. I I would had a I would have had Papa's daddy taking out the trash and getting popped by the garbage can. I would have did something different. Like it's it, it just it it it's the realism the realism is is gone. It's they don't give a fuck no more. I would have, I would have had a uh, Emmy show up with Victor to uh, run up on Duda. I wouldn't have had Emmy running there alone with a gun in his establishment. Like he, he, that's just it, there's no logic to that. I would have had his daddy being like, "What the fuck you think you're going? I'm going with you." Right. I, I'm not gonna let you have this gun and go get yourself killed. That could have been on your head. Like, how would you feel if your son came to you like, "Yeah, I need the gun. Here, take it. Be careful." And you just sit there stress off of it. No. You need the gun for what? Matter of fact, nah, nah, I'll give it to you later. And I'm going to go handle it because I know who you're going after. Yeah, you, you just got to be smart. It, the, the, the writing just got to be smart. It's it's like the real niggas in left the room or something. That, well, I don't know. Uh, this, this fucking man circle is becoming everybody in Chicago. There's no secret in here. We, we, nothing leaves this room. Everybody's in this fucking room. What are you talking about? Who's, who's out of this room that's going to get, <laughs> that's going to, Who's not there? Every cast member of the show is in this room. <laughs> not talking about nothing. Dude, I gonna be in the next room, the next episode. <laughs> I uh, I've done some things. 
killed some Nothing, no information is to be. <laughs> you can look straight at Papa. I've killed some fathers. <laughs> you know I need, I need you guys to have my back on this one. Like, oh, I need just what do y'all need? What do you need us to do, dude? I just everybody keep your mouth shut. You don't know, know nothing. <laughs> what are, what are we doing, man? What the fuck are we doing? What are we doing? Why we, why are you inviting kids into this grown men circle? I don't get it. And, and yeah, I can't be in here expressing my problems. My son is sitting across from me. And then we go to a normal life after we leave here. I just don't get it. I'm going to need Jake to calm down, though. This nigga in the circle, this nigga talking about how his daughter won't listen. He was just like, maybe he need to let her just do her thing. I'm like, nigga, what? What are you talking about, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> don't talk to me about my daughter, nigga. What? Hey, hey, we not judging. Fuck y'all. We ain't talking Fuck about nothing. Fuck you too, here. Victor. Like, <laughs> <laughs> ain't no food in here or nothing. This is stupid. This nigga still close talking about taking care of my child, nigga. Fuck you and fuck him. <laughs> I don't know. Man. I, we we in desperate times. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Well, we'll see you next next episode. But whenever that drop, I I just don't see. I th- I think they're gonna take a long break after this one because they think they hit us with a banger. They think they hit us over the head with a oh, we just caught them off guard. You didn't. <laughs> you did. You didn't. We just broke all their hearts. You you literally didn't. No. We don't even know his daddy like that. He was in maybe seven episodes that we've seen. But we supposed to be heartbroken now because he got killed? Because y'all played a church song? No. Tired. <laughs> Lord, take my breath. Tired. That nigga was like... <laughs> Oh shit, man! <laughs> we ain't supposed to laugh at that, but it was goofy. Yeah. She was like, "Tired." Pop was at the party, like, <laughs> "You was home. Your dad wouldn't be getting strangled, nigga. That's what's happening. You out here partying? <laughs> so I'm out here partying. <laughs> I was supposed to be here for my dad. I ran out on him." <laughs> Last time I saw him, it was an argument. Now I have to be a father to my son. And I got to remember everything he taught me. I'm going to raise my son up right. <laughs> we glad I'm watching this. We're looking at that watch. <laughs> the next episode, we're going to start. He's going to be looking at that watch. He told me to be on time, and I wasn't on time. He said, I gave you that time piece. That argument was just over the top. It was that argument wasn't necessary. That nigga showed up. He said, why are you late? <laughs> I worked hard to get y'all in that men's circle. For what? <laughs> For what, nigga? <laughs> I had to sign you up. I had to wait two weeks. I begged Victor list. to get you in that men's circle. <laughs> it was on a waiting list. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, man. I'm done. I don't, I don't know where we at, man. <laughs> I, I don't know. Uh, if they don't give a damn, we don't give a fuck. I'll tell you that. Hey man. Yeah. Anyways, till the next till the next episode. <laughs> <laughs> like, share, subscribe, all that. Tired. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Daddy choked on a chicken bowl. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Papa Mama was over the top too. <laughs> Papa. <laughs> He said, I'm out. Papa! <laughs> she ain't been in episodes for a minute. She just came out of nowhere at the dinner table. <laughs> she just be eating. You only see her eating. He's like, he's like, I'm a I'm a man now. I'm gonna listen to you. Pa- Papa. <laughs> Eat your porch. Don't talk to your daddy like that. <laughs> oh man. We we out. Out. <laughs>